Welcome to another mega exciting five minute auto pairing. Okay, let's see what happens here today. <coughs> Point de jour. Let's try Queen's Gambit. <coughs> Catalan system. Can I play E4 here? Oh, castle. Try and stop E5. If I play E3 for a moment and try and get C4 slowly with Knight E5. Or am I asking for big trouble here? Can I sack this pawn? Is it asking for big trouble? Oh, now he's defending. Actually, why can't he just take on d4? There's knights. Yeah, he can take on d4. I'm hoping for a bit of positional compensation for this. When he munches my center. <clears throat> so rook d1. It's, bishop's a little bit tied down. I'm hoping there's some compensation. Control of d5 is good. g4, g5. Go for his king. He's got rook d8, g4, g5. Anything else? I can't see anything else actually. If knight d5, would I take that? <clears throat> G five. What? What? I didn't expect that. What's the idea? What on earth? He's weakening his king fundamentally. Bishop g5, if I'm not losing a piece, it looks good. How am I losing a piece? Even if I was losing a piece, I don't know. No idea. Was that a mouse slip? He's just compromised this king. Right, knight d4 is dangerous. So rook d1, knight d4. Uh, bishop h6. Looking at his king, knight d4. There's rook a e1, knight d4, queen e3, knight c2. A bit more. This one's dropping as well. Uh, it's got some loose pieces. Maybe the idea is just to have the loose pieces to play with. Uh, in which case. Bishop h6 does something about that. Knight d4. He's always got queen knight c2 after. There's rook d1 prepared to sack the exchange. Knight d4 will just take it off. I think, yeah, I'll be prepared to sack the exchange as an option. And then think about that position. Maybe rook d1 after. If I don't, I mean, he's got knight c2. Um, Queenie three knight c two just about the queen d two queen e five so okay let's bring the other rook in if I play rook d one um on just knight c four here oh he's on g four right get this queen away. Okay, um, strange. Bishop, nope. Think, after queen c5, what is going on here? He hasn't even played that. <coughs> Pardon me, I've still got cough. Queen f3 looks good now, because he's not on e5. I can afford that, so to speak. Queen f3, 
queen f3. think knight d5 I just take um no bishop f6 tactic at the moment queen f4 for bishop h6 that looks good G5, very imaginative if that was really intentional. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's going to be suffering on, on, on his king. Check. So rook e1. Hang on. King h8, knight f7. King g8. Queen check. Check there. Isn't that just mating? King check. Takes check. King here. It's like nearly mating. If it, if if it's not mating. Um, but isn't there easier? Just queen g five because I'm threatening knight f seven as well as queen g seven. If he takes takes, he's got two threats to deal with. He's got queen f two here, is he? There's bishop e4. That full oh, queen g5, rook g8, knight f7. I mean, queen g5 just wins here more simply, doesn't it? Uh, looks very strong to me. Knight e8, knight f7. Takes, takes. You know, queen f2 because I've got bishop e4 after for knight e4. Knight g8, knight f7, rook g8, knight f7. Mm. Yeah, I think that's simpler than any knight f7. Just threatening mates in two ways here. Yeah. Check. Okay, he's gone for this, but I don't think that works. Check. I've got e4 covered. Oh, it works like that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, he's lost a lot of material, though. Um, taking well, there's knight f7. I've only got thirty seconds. Oh dear. Uh. So maybe he's got a point, uh, 30 seconds. I can frame bishop f6. Time check. A few pre-moves. How do I get a mating net here? He's blown the rook. <laughs> bishop e8 to f7. That looks good. Check. Um, like d6, like g5 to e6, like g5 to e6. Nine seconds. Knight h7 threatened. Checkmate. Oh, didn't know I was going to make it there. Blimey. Still a little bit of a cough after all this time. Oh, okay. Knight a5. Why can't he just take on d4? Let's have a quick look. I wasn't really sure what I was doing with this. To be honest, um, this position. It's got two pawns. Where's the compensation? It's sort of nebulous, but the engine doesn't mind it. I don't know, maybe I do start some sort of attack. Oh, I just get my pawn back. Okay, I just get my pawn back. Um, 
Yeah, interesting. Knight d5. Maybe g4 wasn't the best, but it did panic him. Maybe the idea is to win the c4 pawn here. Knight e4. This is another way of compromising king safety without weakening mine. If he has to play something like f5, then I'm pretty sure this compensation on the cards here looks like loads. Uh, so this looks just really weird. G5. So knight d5 instead. This looks good for black, as though it's unsound. But this kind of gives me a feast of squares. Now queen e3 was possible. If knight c2 take, oh, f6 drops. That wasn't possible. So queen e3 was simply possible. And knight b3, bishop h6, and if takes, take it here, get the other rook in. Am I actually threatening dangerous I'm on the rook there? Okay. Always oh, G5. Yeah, I can see that. That's dangerous. Uh, now this was odd. Yeah, Queen F3, good move here. Yeah, I think Queen. Oh, pardon me. Oh. Pardon me. I think in that position he had to play Queen C5. If he if he plays queen c5, there's no queen at f3. He just takes on like e5. So this is a bit passive because it's allowing me this a lot of pressure. So knight e4 here apparently. This is good. Okay. Check. So check. Mate in nine with knight f7. The way I've played it is a mate in seven. Check. Wow. Check. This is a false mate in seven. So if I take him with the this is better. Check. Check. This is, oh knight f six is on the cards, is it? Check. Knight f seven. Check mate. Nice. Check. Yeah, so he's just giving me a rook. Okay, I've got eighteen seconds. Uh, but now this is pretty good. Check. And there's force mate in seven. If if I can play it correctly. But anyway, yeah, here's just his king's not going anywhere. All right, comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.